Welcome back on how to navigate Schoology. Last time we saw each other, we were logging on to the system. And now what I'll be showing you is how the system looks like once you've logged on. So this is basically the interface you'll see. The first thing that you must do is you must ensure that all the courses that you enrolled for are correct. And how you do this is you go and toggle to courses so that you're able to find all the courses that you enrolled for. Should by any chance you have a course that's there that you haven't registered for, or there's a course that's missing, you must contact the academic administration office immediately so we can sort this problem out. Now, once you've ensured that the courses are correct, what you'll do is you'll go to a course of your choice. The course that I'm going to go to is Overview of Christian Doctrine. Now, there's, an, there's multiple folders that are available in this course. But the most important document that you need to look at first is the course directive. The course directive is a very important document because it tells you what the course is about, who lectures it, it gives you all the resources, and many other information that are needed for you to successfully complete the course. And what's also nice about all the documents on Schoology is that you're able to download them to your computer, your phone or your tablet. After clicking on course directive, you'll navigate and toggle down and read every information on this document. Your assignments and assessments and evaluations are also included in this document. And you'll see that it gives you the date, it gives you the word limit, and it also gives you the bibliography. And then you'll find course assistant contact details, which is your lecturer, the academic support office, the administrative office, resources, and Schoology support, support details. After that, you'll go to other folders, such as course material, where you access the document about the course. You'll also go to course assessments, which is the folder in which you're going to be submitting all your assignments. And I will show you how you do that in the next coming video. You'll go to Turnitin, Turnitin, which is a system that the college uses to ensure that there's no plagiarism that takes place. You'll find Essential Guides folder, where you find guides on how to write assignments, how to properly reference, and how to and where to access the assignment cover page. Some, some, some courses you find that um, there's online discussions, some courses there's quizzes, other lectures make class PowerPoints available. This all depends on the, on the course and what the lecturer makes available for students. So I'll be showing you in the next video how you submit your assignments, how you run your assignments and turn it in, and also how to view assignment feedbacks from lecturers. I'll see you then.